So we thought about ourselves a lot, you know, we're being very self-centered and self-centric, but that's good because it's empathizing with ourself first. But now we kind of want to put our UX designer hats on. So first is defining who here needs to hear our story based on our goals. Who needs to hear why we do what we do, how we do what we do, what we do what we do. Who needs to hear our personality and values, right? To then help us achieve our goals. So really you're just trying to brainstorm all the user groups or potential personas that will affect you and have touch points along the way of achieving this goal. So why don't we start to brainstorm as many as we can Let's just say at least five on who these folks are. The easiest and obvious example could be a recruiter looking for senior design talent. It could be a tech company in a specific field. It could be a head of design, or it could be a design manager or other groups of uh, stakeholders. And the more specific you are here, I think the better. So if it's a design hiring manager, can you think of maybe where they work? You know, if they're based in the US, if they work for a, a specific company, do they take care of something design ops where we're talking about processes? Who is this person? Who needs to hear your message in order for you to achieve what you want to achieve?
Brainstorm as many as you want. Five is the recommended. However, if you do have 20 stakeholders that you might be needing to interact with, that's also okay. Just a couple of more minutes on your audience members.
head on to that voting stage and allocate your two dots, the people that are most important to hear your message. Okay, let's dive into our audience needs. 